Today we are going to make a start to finish animation. Make it rain. Open a new project and name it Raindrop, or whatever you want to name it. Adjust the background to a dark blue color. You can see the preview right here. And adjust the quality to YouTube 1080p. Then press Create Project. The tools that we will use in this animation are the eraser and the brush tool. When I start a new animation, I always go into my brush and choose a color. This time, let's choose a white color. Just to show you the eraser tool, I'm going to make a big mark on my screen. Then I will go to my eraser tool. By default, the eraser has soft edges. Personally, I want this to have hard edges so I can see what I'm erasing better, so I'll change that. That looks better. For the brush and eraser tools, you can also adjust the size. I'm going to make my brush pretty thin for this. I'm now going to begin with my raindrops. I'll draw my first drop centered in the screen. You can add a new frame down here and draw your next raindrop. Keep in mind that you want the raindrop to keep the same volume all the way down, or you will have a very confusing effect. So I'm going to undo that and I will continue to draw my raindrops all the way down. As I draw the drops, I'm going to make it look like the drop is going faster as it go down. So I'm gonna space out each frame a little bit more from the last one. I'm now going to make my splash puddle. The volume should stay the same with the drop and the puddle. So the puddle will splash up when it hits the ground. and then it'll settle into the ground in the next frame. Now that we have our first raindrop drawn, we can preview it by pressing the play button. That looks pretty good to me. I'm now going to start a new raindrop, but I want this raindrop to be offset from our first raindrop. So I'm going to start it about here. So now, off to the side, you can draw a slightly bigger raindrop, beginning to fall. Then continue the process as before. Go to the next frame and draw it slightly farther down, and continue to do that all the way down. Just like our last raindrop, the puddle will splash up and then down, but keep the volume consistent. Now we can test it out by pressing play. That looks pretty good, but I'm going to add one more raindrop using the same process as before. I think I will start this raindrop about here. I'm going to preview this by pressing play. Once you have your raindrops how you like them, you can begin to add little details to them. For example, you might want to color them in or add a light spot reflection. I'm going to add in a reflection in mine. So I'm gonna start at the beginning and then I will add a small reflection in the bottom right hand corner. And I will continue to do this on all of them. It really is the small quick details that can make a difference to your animation. I'm going to press play and see if you can notice a difference. I think that looks even better. Now that I have the basic 13 frames done for my water drop, and you might have more frames for yours, I'm going to go into the frames viewer. 
Here, I'm going to duplicate all of these frames a few times, just so I have a longer movie. So I press this button up here to select them all. I'll go down here to copy them. And then I'll press the paste button three times. Now I have 52 frames, which is much longer. So I'm going to click the check mark and go back to our main frames. I'm now going to add in a little bit of audio. I'm going to go down to the music studio. I will go to the plus button and then I'm going to press import music. I have a sound effect that I downloaded from the YouTube audio library called Water Leap. I'll leave a link in the video description, but I saved this to my files app. Once it's been transcoded, I'll click the check mark and then I'll drag this up to the top. I want it to start at the very beginning, so I'll leave it right there. I'm going to make sure that the sound is lined up with our water drops, so I'm going to press play to see if it works. So as you can see, the animation stopped because it wasn't long enough for the water drop sounds. I just quickly scrolled to see, and it looks like the water drop sound goes a lot longer. So I'm going to go back to where my animation stopped. I'm going to click twice on my sound. And then I will click the blade tool. Now our audio is split into two segments, so I'm going to delete this one. Now our animation fits perfectly, and we can test that by pressing play. The final thing to do is to export this movie. I'm going to make the movie and then save it onto my iPad. Yay, you finished this project. I hope this helps. Have a swell day.